Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I'd like to answer the question. Do I really need to use a fish tape every time, even if it's like five feet? Or can I just fish the wire up through the EMT and be done with it? So here's a competitor at the ideal national championship. Electoral championship, $40,000 for first place. And he's using a fish tape for a very short run. And here's another gentleman who's just gonna fish his wires by hand. So here he goes. He puts them in the box in the EMT and there it is, he's done. Now let's put these two gentlemen side by side. The gentleman on the left will have a fish tape to work with. The gentleman on the right will do it without a fish tape. And let's see who finishes first. The gentleman without the fish tape is done. He's finished. And the gentleman that's using the fish tape for this short run is now hooking up his wires to the end of his fish tape. And now he's using electrician's tape to go around his connection. And now he's gonna pull the fish tape through the EMT. There, now he's got his wire but he still has to disconnect the fish tape. There it is, okay. So this gentleman's done. Now let me show you a scene from a previous Sparky Channel video. Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com coming to you live from San Diego, California, where today we're going to have a contest between hand fishing Sparky and fish tape fishing Sparky. That is the Sparky on your left. We'll be fishing three 12 gauge wires through nine feet of EMT conduit with one 90 degree band and two box offset bends. And the Sparky on your right will be doing the same, the same exact task using the new Klein 50 foot multi-groove non-conductive fiberglass tape. First, both Sparkies will start out by grabbing a green, a white and a black wire from the wire caddy with the black wire having a couple inches of insulation strip off of it. The wires will be staggered slightly with the bare wire in front. Now the wires will be taped together with black electrician's tape. The two inches of stripped wire will now be bent back and compressed to make a loop. This is what the wire leader now looks like. Both competitors will pull out a few feet of wire from the wire caddy to give them head starts. And now for the competition. On your mark, get set, go. Hand wiring Sparky takes his three wires and feeds them directly into his conduit while fish tape Sparky must take the extra step of running his fiberglass fish tape down to the receptacle box where he will hook his tape to the wires and then pull them back up to the light box. The question is, Will Fish Tape Sparky be able to make up the time spent running the fish tape to the receptacle box before hand wire fishing Sparky can finish his task? Another question is, will hand wire fishing Sparky get his wires hung up in the EMT without a fish tape to help? Hand wire Sparky has his wires coming out in the light box. They have to come out a full eight inches though. So he climbs up the ladder and pulls them out. Doesn't quite get him out all the way. That's about six inches. He needs a few more inches. One more push from the receptacle box and he's got it. Full eight inches. He won 51 seconds flat. And here's fish tape Sparky. He's having a little problem. He has to handle the fish tape and the wire simultaneously, but it's not a problem. That's a great fish tape he's got. That Klein fish tape with a 13 inch diameter. It really winds up the wire really fast. So he's gonna step up on the ladder to get a little extra leverage. And he's got to come down though, because the wires uh, need to be pulled out from the wire caddy. They need to be pulled once in a while. There you go. Okay, he's got, he's got some slack there. Now he'll grab the fish tape 
and wind it up with that big 13 inch diameter. You know, step up the ladder for a little bit of extra leverage. And there's the wires. There they are right there. It is one minute and 36 seconds. The moral to the story is that even if you own the best fish tape made, sometimes it's faster to just fish your wires by hand. I'll put a link in my video description for the latest edition of the NEC handbook and I'll put a link for the journeyman electrician exam study guide which you can get on Amazon Audible if you like and I'll put a link for 30 days free for Amazon Audible Plus. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.